in this lesson to learn how to create a new WordPress blog and also talk about a couple of tips to think about before you create your blog. The first step to creating your blog is to choose a site address or a domain name for your site. But before we get to that, let's talk about a couple tips which will help us get started. The first thing you want to think about when you create your first blog is a common theme or genre for your blog. And it's really best to come up with this first rather than to find yourself writing about random topics and ideas. And the reason for having that common theme is because people search by topics and interests. So this will not only help people who are interested in what you're writing about find your blog, but they'll also know what to expect when they come there and it'll keep them coming back when they know it's something they enjoy. The other thing you want to think about is that it's something you enjoy writing about because that's really going to show through in your writing. If you hate it, it's we're going to show and you're not going to want to update it or maintain your content. You also want to choose something you have interest and knowledge in because if you don't know a lot about your topic, even if you enjoy it, you're going to run out of things to write about fairly quickly and that can quickly suck the joy out of maintaining your blog. You also want to figure out what kind of goals you have for your blog. So maybe if you want professional recognition or advancement, then you'd want to create a blog under your name or if you have a business, the name of your business. But if you don't have any specific goals, maybe you just want to relax and write about things you love and know about, then that's completely fine as well. But if you do have a specific goal, you want to figure that out before you get started. You also want to think about what kinds of content you want for your blog. So maybe you want a photo blog, you'll need a lot of images, and you want to think about where you can find images, whether you want to take your own, whether you need to buy um, a subscription to a stock image library or something like that. It's best to figure that out before you get started rather than starting to write and figure out that you have no images to use for your blog. The last thing you want to think about is your audience. So can you write freely as yourself? Do you mind if your boyfriend, girlfriend, or your boss sees this? Um, or maybe you just want to write anonymously so no one knows it's you and you can write freely and really enjoy that. You want to figure out that out before whether you want to be anonymous or write as yourself. So now that we've thought about a couple of things that can help us get started with our blog, let's go ahead and um, create our first blog. So on WordPress.com, I'm going to create a blog about travel and food. And so the name for my blog is kind of a pun on the word wonderlust. I'm going to be call, calling this blog about travel and food wonder crust. So you kind of get a pun that signifies both of those things, even if it is a little bit silly. So I'm going to call it the wonder crust dot wordpress.com which is a free address or free domain that's hosted on wordpress.com then you want to click to create website type in your email and then it'll give you a username which you can change or keep the one it generates for you into your password and the last step is using that blog address. You can choose no thanks, I'll use the free address, which will be your blog name dot wordpress dot com once again, or you also have the ability to register and have your own custom domain, which is what I'm going to be doing for my blog, which we'll talk about in our next lesson.